Hi friends, in this video we will discuss how to model and uh, simulate the uh, solar uh, parabolic trough collector using ANSYS Fluent. So prior, prior to entering into the simulation I will try to model the parabolic trough collector. So I am selecting the sketch. So now take a circle. So I'll select the TMM mess media with 2 mm thickness as my keep it as 32 try to trim this part and I'll try to draw a circle is 4 mm right so now I will uh, come out of the sketching mode and I'll select this as well as this parabolic trough 2D right so next pull it click no merge symmetric one second select extend through 40 centimeters or 400 mm right now we will again uh, select that sketch so I need to model the air which is present uh, around which is present around the trough as well as circular pipe now again I will try to pad this control that it should be no merge and both in symmetry direction and it's also be 400 now I'll try to subtract body once again it should be 400 It's crossing the boundary limits. No much. Yes, it's okay now. So try to go to combine, split this again. I try to go combine and split this parabolic trough collector also. So you will new two bodies would be created, those are not required. Click control and delete those two, right? And click on this design. And click the mesh share right can just close so I have messed with these uh, random settings uh, 
so to to this face i have given uh, face sizing as uh, 1 e power minus 3 meters and inflation i has given to this face and i've sweeped it right with 150 in uh, numerical divisions and after that I have given a face sizing to this of uh, 2.5 to 10 power minus 3 meters and have just meshed it right so it is a, a normal mesh which is not accurate but for our simulation it's okay so this I have selected as inlet and the other side as outlet and uh, this part here you can see this as an absorbing surface and heating surface as this point so I can just show you by hiding uh, this thing so I'll try to hide this body. So now uh, this is the absorbing surface which absorbs the radiation from the parabolic uh, trough collector or reflector. And heating surface is the uh, the part onto which the sun radiation will come and fall. So this is the heating surface, the upper surface, right? And the remaining entire part is air. So now we'll go to the setup. Uh, so you can see on the screen our, uh, our model geometry was in here. So I am uh, going for a study flow with uh, gravity in the minus 9.81 direction and after that go to models uh, select energy on right click the energy on next go to viscous model in the viscous model you need to click on uh, k epsilon realizable and scalable wall functions. Uh, so it is not exactly we are modeling but yeah we just want to know how the simulation can be run so and next we'll go to the radiation in the radiation uh, i'll click s2s model and after that solar ray tracing also i'm activated so in this solar uh, ray tracing so this is the amount of irradiation and diffuse solar irradiation that has been uh, strike will strike onto the any surface when we uh, make it to participate in a solar ray tracing or else we can use solar direction vector also which is calculate from the solar calculator but uh, you can do it that way also but i am doing uh, this simple way so where i have uh, already predetermined the solar irradiation diffuse irradiation that has been striking onto the surface that we will activate so click on ok and just go to the materials the fluid is air so and the, we need to also bring the water liquid which will flow inside the pipe so create edit go to fluent database the drag drop window you can see water liquid click on that copy close right so close this and after that go to cell zone condition in the cell zone condition so there are two fluids one is the air fluid which is the main domain the external domain so uh, keep the material name is air but the inside domain which is inside present inside the pipe so you will try to define it with the water liquid so you give the material name as water liquid right and just go to the boundary conditions in the boundary conditions inlet so inlet the velocity inlet that we are want to define which is we have already mentioned so i have given it to 0.5 meters per second uh, velocity Maybe you can reduce it to 0.1 meter per second and click on thermal and 300 kelvin in the radiation uh, you just click it doesn't participate in solar ray tracing and the external uh, boundary temperature msvt is one so it will not participate in the solar ray tracing at all i right, click on ok and then just go to internal you can leave internal and in outlet it is just pressure outlet you can leave the pressure outlet also next go to the walls so the, here it is very much important what we need to mainly focus about so heating surface this is the surface onto which uh, our uh, solar radiation would come and strike the parabolic uh, surface so here we need to give the radiation in the radiation i have give the uh, direct visible uh, radiation as 0.1 fraction and direct irreversible radiation as 0.1 so it as we have mentioned it is opaque type in the opaque type there would be no transmittivity everything should be absorbed or get reflected so but in the absorption i have given 0.1 and 0.1 so 0.9 times uh, the uh, value would be reflected as you have already seen 1200 and like odd 300 for uh, uh, direct radiation and diffuse radiation so among that 0 0.9 times 1200 would be reflected and 0 0.9 times 300 would also be reflected and this participates in the view factor calculation if you don't uh, uh, bother also it's no problem so it doesn't participate you can uh, take that in view factor calculation click on ok and then you go to the absorbing surface 
in the absorbing surface go to radiation in this radiation click this should participate in view factor calculation this is important because from this only uh, the, uh, according to the view factor the radiation that is been reflected from the absorber uh, heating plate would come and fall onto the absorber plate so here it would have a wall and wall shadow for both we need to have uh, this radiation model activated for solar rate uh, uh, sorry participate in view factor calculation it, it need not uh, participate in solar ray tracing if it do participate also it will not um, uh, make any difference but here our aim is to see how the reflected radiation from the uh, heating plate is getting on to the absorber plate so that is important after all these things are done again once go to the radiation surface to surface modeling click on compute uh, read and you need to just uh, click on ok and it will uh, of course it's already existing so that's the reason why it's showing but you need to compute write read so it will uh, try to create all the view factors according to which uh, the radiation would fall and get deposited okay so all the 100% of view factors have been completed now go to initialization and clone calculation clone calculate so this is a coupled scheme what i'm using so you can see I have ran through like 69 iterations it would be sufficient uh, so I'll just go to the counters and I'll select uh, just only outlet I'll select display just so here you can see there is a blue color spot on the top part and remaining everything is in reddish in nature on the surroundings i mean on the boundaries right and here it is a blue color spot that is so obvious because this part is not uh, 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 open to the parabolic trough collector it is on the top part of the pipe so it is the, the radiation is not getting uh, uh, reflected to that point so i'll just show you the surface also maybe that would be much more uh, so you can see so this is the parabolic trough and here is the pipe so i'll activate the pipe also so you can see this is the pipe so that's the reason why you are not getting uh, the col uh, collector's uh, temperature uh, at the top point so that is the main reason still we need to run this uh, iteration so that it will have a uniform distribution but as for uh, our understanding and as per uh, the tutorial is i think sufficient so now uh, we'll just go to the inlet and outlet and I'll show you the absorbing surface also. So you can see, so here is the inlet. And as it is going on, the temperature is getting raised. And if you can see at the outlet, the top point here, the temperature is low because the radiation is not directly falling onto the this point so that is one reason and uh, so i think uh, this had made uh, a view how to simulate uh, solar or parabolic trough collector and please uh, do subscribe the video and encourage me in doing more number of videos thank you